crap. <laughs> Good early morning. Let's do another wear test with a product that I have not used, but this is crazy because I feel like this foundation has been up for a while. Have I used it? Have I not? I'm annoyed. We're gonna try it today. This is the Makeup by Mario, is or is it Mario? Okay, Surreal Skin Foundation in the shade 30W. We got a pump with this one. I was sent the matching or the corresponding concealer and this is the shade 620. I think this will be a great shade for me. So let's do a wear test. I pulled my hair back and we're gonna dive right into this thing. Okay, I just realized that this is the darkest shade. It's $42 at Sephora, long wearing, hydrating. And this is dark deep with a warm undertone. I feel like I tried this before, yo, but we haven't, I haven't done a wear test though. Ooh, this is dark. <laughs> Okay, underneath this is 29C for dark, deep with cool undertone. I could have gone with that one. This is a Real Techniques 259 brush. Ooh, okay. Wow, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so you could really give light coverage with one pump just like that. But this is good though, because we're gonna match my neck and chest-ish. And then when I highlight and bring it all together, it's gonna be cool. You know, when I do a foundation that matches my skin tone exactly, or closely when I do everything, especially my highlight, it be looking wild. I be looking ashy, so I can make this work. Although I could also make the shade down from this work. <laughs> Don't get angry. Just trust the process, okay? Thank you so much. Wait a minute, is this light coverage? What in the world? I can still see my skin. I can still see my brows, which normally are covered with a full coverage foundation. I can still see my skin. It is luminous. I like how this looks. I'm not gonna keep the shade. Well, no. Okay, here's the thing. It can work for me in the summertime. I know for sure because I get darker because I enjoy being outside in the summertime. I enjoy being outside, period. The thing about it though is that it's a luminous finish foundation. And in the summertime, I absolutely unequivocally do not use luminous finish foundations. Why in the world would I want to be shining in the heat? So the shade could work in the summer, but the finish is not going to work. So yes, I am going to give that away. You see, you have to pro you have to process through the whole thing to figure out how it'll work for you, if it'll work for you, you feel me? Is this light coverage? Oh my gosh, I already don't like it because I don't like light coverage. Although I did try a different foundation I yesterday that was a little bit light and <laughs> I don't know. It looks like skin. I have to give it that. It, it, like you can still see my skin and you may or may not like that. I don't like that. <laughs> if I put on makeup, I need everything to be covered. You feel me? Okay, now let's see if 620 is gonna, oh, oh crap. <laughs> It looks neutral and I like, I don't know. It just looks gray. I mean, I, I, well, we are trying things out. I tell you, I, I be trying not to try new products out. Elf Cosmetics Sponge. All links are below, by the way. Follow me on socials, on all socials, all that we linked here to. I try not to try <laughs> new products out when I have somewhere important to go or somewhere where I care about to go because if I don't like my makeup, I'm not gonna feel confident, feel me? I'm either just not gonna do makeup or I'm gonna do it and I want it to look good. Now this is giving me some great coverage. That covered, I can still see this blemish right here, but that needs to be covered by my complexion product not the concealer, but bring some down. That's gonna bother me, Oh, If I can still see that under my blush, it's annoying. Letting this out, starting from the outer part of my face to the hairline, but blending it so that it doesn't touch the hairline as such. It looks like a contour right now. We're gonna fix everything. You know how I go. We're gonna build this up, okay? Trust the process. Pinching this beauty sponge right here and then making sure that we are setting into those fine lines right underneath the eye, if you have them like I do. See what I mean? I've highlighted my T-zone under my cheeks and under my eyes, and it barely even looks as light as it did before. Okay, so again, trust the process, okay? Don't get angry. <laughs> Don't get glad, get mad, smash your... <laughs> you know where that's from, where's that? Comment, let me know. LYS stick bronzer. We're gonna contour, this is gonna bring back some deepness. This is very deep, which I like. I'm gonna use this Real Techniques 261 brush. I like the shape of this. It fits right up in here. Look at that. I'm gonna stipple this. Man, I can still see my skin in the foundation. Ugh. See, makeup really is about what you wanna get out of it. I, as a former makeup artist and a lover, of makeup for many years, prefer that when I do my face, I just look totally made up. I want to look like a whole new canvas, you feel me? I mean, I'm still look like myself, but I just like the full coverage paint. I mean, back in the day, we all loved a full coverage beat. MAC Fix Plus, come on, we weren't doing sheer stuff. And that's just what I prefer. So with, when it comes to you and you're choosing your foundation, make sure you're choosing a foundation that has a finish that one you like. So is it matte, is it hydrating, is it satin? Is it satin meaning, is it a mix of both? A comfortable medium in between, you feel me? And also making sure that the the coverage is what you want. And that's what I keep on referring to because I like 
a full coverage face, okay? Now let's take off some excess product and carve out this nose. And if this isn't enough, I just go back into the actual product to get some. This is a Sephora 17 brush. It's for the eyes, but it's the perfect shape to get right up in here. Oh, I forgot to use this today. Glow recipe, watermelon glow, nice and my huge drops. I just dove into the foundation. Okay, well, I'll use that a different day. If you try that, let me know. They're pretty cool. So taking some of the product back of my hand, blotting off the excess because this is very pigmented. And then we're gonna start here close to the brow and come down, okay? And I'm twisting so I can really see this well. <laughs> Taking some more product, blotting off the excess. We want to build this up. The last thing I want are two tire tracks down my nose. I want to see it, but come on, I don't want to look too wild and crazy, you know me? The angle of the sponge is unique. It's not the usual rounded bottom. So I take this side right here and then blend out the harsh line between my highlight and my contour and then turn it this way to do the same. Ooh, I just wiped off. See, I can still see my blemish through the concealer. Normally it's covered by the foundation, the full coverage foundation. That's also something you wanna take into consideration. If you've got blemishes on your face, which are natural, then a light or medium foundation may not work for you if your intention is to cover those blemishes. If you're okay with any blemishes showing through your foundation, then you're cool, you're fine. If your intention with your foundation is to cover the blemishes, then you're not gonna want anything outside of a full coverage foundation. And don't think that full coverage means you're gonna feel like you have have clay on your face. That's not the case. I like to teach. You could also use a light or medium coverage foundation and then use a concealer that matches your skin tone to touch up the spots where you have dark spots. So it really is up to you. But like I said, I prefer to just do one foundation and not have to spot conceal because of blemishes, okay? If that made sense, comment and let me know. Because I like to teach, okay? If you're learning, also comment and let me know. This is a Lawless Powder Foundation. The shade is Tan Deep. It's very light. I'm gonna use a Sephora 57 brush. Make sure that there's no creasing right here. Keep your eyes like this so that you don't recrease them. And I just wanna set right under here. Any light powder, powder foundation I prefer because it's gonna give more coverage, but it doesn't have to be. It can be a translucent, loose powder as well. Just wanna set this, give it some nice coverage, and it set the under eye. I really can and will use this to set the other areas that I highlighted. This is the Sephora 79 brush. Taking some of this product, some more, and right here. I'm gonna do something different under my eyes, as you know, because I like that to be luminous. So it's adding some color and just reinforcing the highlight. Now, if you have dry skin, you may not want to set your whole entire under eye area. You may just want to set right here where the wrinkles are if you have any fine lines. And that's okay because you may not want to accentuate any dryness under your eyes. So consider that as an alternative. Don't follow all of us who set the entire under eye area if you have, like I said, any dryness under your eyes. Because look, I set the immediate area and then you still see some dewiness, some hydration here. And I think that it looks pretty and it would look pretty for you if your focus is your face looking very dewy. You could, of course, go and do a setting spray that is going to re-oil or re-shine your face, right? There's so many different ways that you can achieve a certain look under your eye, on your whole entire face. It just depends on what you wanna do, okay? But that's just, that's one way. I wanna confuse you, but that is one way you can do that. You can just skip what I'm doing right here, which is setting the whole entire thing. This is the same 79 brush. And then the Huda Glow Wish Luminous Setting Powder. This is medium tan. They bought to discontinue Glow Wish, which makes me so thick but until then I do enjoy this it does look like a highlighter like a shimmer under the eye in addition to setting it and I've grown to really love how that looks so I don't have to set my contour but I like to add more color to it and fix it because once I've done my highlight setting it pushed down and away my contour. I want that back, okay? Elf Cosmetics Powder Foundation, and this is an LYS holiday brush that was sent to me, it's so cute. And I'm gonna take some of this product, starting closer to the hairline, let's pounce, and spread this around to bring that shadow back into the look. I really could have done my powder foundation first on my face and then this, because I do usually have to do this again, just with leftover product because it just gets moved. And then leftover product right here on the jawline. I like for the jawline contour to look effortless, not so intentional. How are we looking? It's coming together. Now I keep that there, because like I said, I have to go, I usually have to go back into it again. Hmm, depends. You feel me? Okay, this is the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. This is a lighter powder. It's not a powder foundation, I don't think. And this is a huge complex culture brush that 
that I've had for a while. I'm trying to avoid <laughs> the contour, but this is what I mean. I do have to go back and reinforce it. And this is to bring everything together. I do like a very loud highlight. So this is to bring all the colors together, blend it in, making sure that it just looks seamless. Okay, full face is done. I think it all came together. I have on this L'Oreal Infallible Blush. This is the shade Legendary Berry. And then this lip from Morphe, I, I, I don't, Morphe's discontinued, I don't even know. But this is Sweet Tea and I love it. It is so, so good. So sorry if it's not available, I'll link what I can. Let's do wear test today and see how this all looks. Okay, it's check-in time. It's 1.30 and I did this makeup at around 6.30 this morning. My face feels greasy, a lot greasier than it felt when I did the Makeup Revolution wear test. The Skin Silk was also a hydrating foundation. My face feels very greasy today. I would not say that it's a very hot day today either. This is just way more hydrating than that one was. I'm at Chick-fil-A. I'm definitely about to blot my face because I can just feel, I feel my face wet. So if you have dry skin and you feel dehydrated and dry through the day, I think you're gonna enjoy this. If you don't and you want to stay mad, obviously stay far away from hydrating foundations. Let's wear this some more through the day and then I'll check in with you later. It's 9 p.m. I'm back home. I took off my contacts because my eyes are bothering me so badly today. Hence, you'll see some pinkness in this eye in particular. And I took my wig off because, excuse me, who has time? But let's get into the face. So you can see the marks from where I had my glasses and my lippy has worn off a bit. My skin still looks good. It feels comfortable. I blotted my face one time. I was blowing my nose a few times. Hence why you may see areas where there isn't as much foundation on my nose. Otherwise, I can't even see the you know, my glasses on to see. Otherwise, my skin looks and feels good. Like I said, blotted one time, not terribly oily. Again, the, the weather today was around 80. That makes a difference. The weather outside makes a difference in how your skin will look, how your skin's gonna respond. If it's humid, expect more oiliness, at least in my, in, in for my skin. If it's hot outside, expect more oiliness, at least for my skin. So take a note of that for yourself and then that'll help you in choosing your foundations. But I think the color looks good and then the face looks good. You comment, let me know. If you like wear tests, want me to do more, comment, let me know as well. Follow me on all socials and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.